Thank y'all so much. Did Father say it best? He did. Now you know why he's here. You know, we have nothing to be ashamed of. We had over 700,000 people in Louisiana really want something better and something different. Many of y'all work very, very hard, and I appreciate that. It's very humbling to know that we have that many people really want something better. You put a lot of your treasure in this. You put a lot of your time and your heart, and you were doing it for the right reasons. And we're going to continue to do that. We're going to work in this state. We're going to make sure that we do one day make this the best state that can possibly be, not be last. And we're going to continue to do that. God has blessed this state. We know it. We have such an incredible state here, such a blessings that God has given us, and we got to continue to work to try to make it what it should be. You know, I say that. Thank you. I am disappointed, I'm being very honest, but I want to tell you, I'm grateful to Linda. She has been incredible. Thirteen months I've drug her all over this state and she's never complained. It's amazing. Could not have done it without her. It's, not, it's no question about that. And I have this amazing family behind me. They've supported me. That's the foundation of life, Lord. It is truly. You know, to grow up with a beautiful family, a loving family that taught us about Christ, taught us about work and responsibility, also taught us to be grateful for the blessings we receive from God. And so there's no regrets there. When you try to serve Him, you do the best you can. And that's what we've done. We've worked very hard. You work very hard. And I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm grateful that you love this state and you want to see it do better. Thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. I was being interviewed by Fox uh, a couple of days ago, and the gentleman that was interviewing me, it was Thursday morning before the President Trump came. By the way, can we give President Trump a round of applause? That man loves America, and he loves Louisiana. He came down here three times specifically to try to help us. Please give him another round of applause. This gentleman was interviewing me, and he says, um, Mr. Responi says, uh, I got to ask you a question. I said, what's that, sir? He said, well, what happens if you don't win? What is it going to be like to go back to the life you had before? I said, hey. <laughs> I tell you, fella, I had a pretty good life. Between us, we got seven extraordinary married children. And you know what's coming next? 24 perfect grandchildren. And he looked at me and said, what are you doing running for governor? But truly, you know, I'm, I'm comp I am so blessed for your friendship and your support. You obviously know I'm very blessed with an incredible family. God has continued to bless us. And we're going to continue to work for this state so every child would have an opportunity, an opportunity to receive an education, an opportunity to have hope, and an opportunity to know Christ. God bless you, and thank you so much for being here.